Yo, you already know what it is. When your boy starts the video off clapping, you already know to get ready for some greatness. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Scott. Welcome to the Scott Reports. Today, I'm bringing you a first impressions of Grimoire Zero, aka Zero Kara, something long with magic in it that I don't remember the rest of the name for. Man, this series done by White Fox. White Fox knocking it out of park again. If you're not familiar with White Fox for some reason, they gave you a comic got killed. They gave you ReZero. Not to be confused with this series, because it has nothing to do with each other or recreators. But same type of fantasy setting, but they two are two different series altogether because this is a true fantasy series i mean that's something that i have to step back and commend because when we get these fantasy series we usually get something that deals with the protagonist that's dropped into a video game world or we get something that's based straight off of a video game and it kind of has a linear approach not with this series this series feels like it's a true to the foreign fantasy world it feels fresh it feels original it feels like something that we've never seen before at the same time it feels like things that are very similar with this series and Fantasy has been a very big thing in this spring season altogether. I mean, first and foremost, we got Berserk, the biggest and strongest fantasy series probably ever made out there. We got Sword Oratoria, however you say it. We got Recreators in a way. We got, you know, other things coming and something else coming tomorrow with another long name. We got Grand Blue. It's something by Toy out there. It is a lot of fantasy series out there for you to indulge on in this spring season but this one has cut his way through with his originality that it feels based off a of light novel. You know, these light novels are going in, but it still feels like it just feels so much different than the rest. I mean, this episode was so good. I can't even find the words to put for it. That's how good it was. It's definitely worth your time. And this series, at least for the time being, yes, it's dealing with something that we've seen before. We got two characters being united by fate. But the thing about that is, is it just, I, I don't know, it just feels so different. It feels so pure. It feels so real. And because of that, it, it can probably go in a whole bunch of different directions that I'm excited to see. Again, it doesn't feel as linear as, as the other things that we're used to seeing. And this and Recreators has been a breath of fresh air in the spring season. I was looking a little bit shaky at first, but now with those two, along with the obvious of Attack on Titan and Boku no Hero, I think we're gonna be just fine in the spring because I just got that type of feel for it. We were looking for that next ReZero and I think we finally found it with this. And of course with the name, it's gonna be hard not to compare it to ReZero, but do not get the two twisted. So what is this series about? Well, first and foremost, it takes place in like 520 something. I think it's 526. This is the infancy of magic and sorcery. People are scared. People are confused and witches are being blamed for everything that's coming up in the world. From plagues to kidnappings to murders. Anything that they can pin on the witches because they fear what they don't understand. They're actually doing it. This church, the church and the kingdom are hanging witches to dry. They're burning them. People are calling for their blood. And it was one witch in particular that was very beloved that ended up getting, you know, hazed or raised or whatever you call it. And that caused a war between the people in the church. And when that war broke out, the people that they don't apprehend themselves are actually hiring mercenaries to go and get these witches. And that's where things start to heat up because there's a certain race in this series called this half beast, half man. And they're called the Beast Fallen. Now the Beast Fallen are people who for the most part are bred to kill these witches and the same time it's a very compelling story with them as well because even though they are used to hunt down the witches they're in kind of a endangered species themselves because people are actually hiring people to capture them just so they can take out the witches which brings us to our main character who doesn't have a name yet he's just known as mercenary or the beast fallen it's like he doesn't hate witches well, he does hate witches, but the reason why he hates witches is because they make his life a living hell. People are coming after him to try to get him to go after witches. People are trying to bring him so he could be enslaved to capture witches. And it looks like at some point in his life, he had a pretty regular and chill life, but he's a, he's like a cat man. He's basically like a tiger man and growing up in a world that's already so fearful, it had to be a hard life for him. We've seen that his entire village paid the price for him being what he is and he carries a lot of pain and a lot of weight 
with him. In this series, it has that dreadfulness. It has like that dark tone to it, but at the same time, it has a lightheartedness. It has a comedic tone to it that lets you know that you're going to be on a journey, and it was fantastic. And I also love the music in this episode as well. I mean, the slow violins and, you know, the little jingles, and just, it just feels like you're in, like, a fantasy world. There's no other way I can put it. It just felt so good. I mean, go watch it. If you have not watched this episode, go watch it and come back and we can talk about it. So let's dive into it a little bit more. Given how powerful the Beast Fallen is, you would think people would be a little bit more nicer to him. So that just shows how selfish people can be in this world. They just want to take him and use them for their own means. And that's why he can't stand witches because, again, like I mentioned, they just make his life hard. Now, we got to get to the witch, our resident character by the name of Zero. Oh, my God. If you ever wanted Megumin from Konosuba to have her own story, this is what you get with Zero. I mean, she's a cute, bubbly, fantastic character she's crafty she's witty she knows how to talk and do things to get her away like um in the interaction between the two that was so good it's like he knocked over her dinner or something so she followed him around she was sneaking eating his dinner he's asking what you're doing she was like well you did ruin my dinner so now you owe me so <clears throat> she brought the light hardness to it she brought the lighter side out of this beast falling character because he's looking like you know what i hate witches but maybe you're not so bad and the thing is about her she's a very knowledgeable witch about the differences between magic and sorcery and i really want you guys to check it out i want don't want to get too deep into it but it's just like she understands that the reason why he is the way he is is because the life that he had she kind of recognizes that he had a hard life and we're beginning to see that this beast fallen character this mercenary is maybe looking at her like you know what maybe she isn't so bad after all and this is where our journey kicks off because zero tells him that she is looking for this book that has the power to destroy the entire world and she really only needs like one page out of it but if she can get her hands on that great things are coming she makes him an offer that he can't refuse and that sets them on their course their bond their friendship or whatever it may be but because she's looking for this book she is constantly on the hunt by other witch hunters so she actually implores him like i want you to guide me while i get to this book and i can guarantee you that when this is over it will be worth your while so fantastic story fantastic setup white fox is always going in i cannot praise the series enough and i usually go into more detail about these things but i really do want you guys to check it out but i can tell you that i highly recommend it there's some things in there that will be better if you just take it in yourself then see it and then you'll say you know what scott was right scott was right about this series because it just feels so good so again grimoire zero definitely recommend that you check it out just like i said with recreators i don't even think i need to do the three episode test on this i am in for the long run it is going to be a fantastic journey and this first episode is a taste of what we're going to get i cannot wait to see what we got next and i think this is only going to be 12 episodes i think at most 13 but more likely it is 12 so guys definitely let me know what you thought of this series in the comments below if you like the video go ahead and drop it a like and if you want to hear more go ahead and hit that subscribe button if there's not a shortage of content you indulge on on this channel and as i always say you guys can be anywhere on YouTube right now, but you chose to listen to me. And I really appreciate that, so thanks for stopping by. On that note, it's your boy Scott signing out. See you soon. <laughs>